and welcome to Virtual Time with me, Mrs. T. Awesome, so let's get right on it. So this video we are doing, recorder, um, and I thought it might be fun if you guys could help me come up with a name for my recorder. So in your assignments or under this video, um, comment on some possible appropriate names for my recorder, okay? So, I'm going to be using my tenor recorder today. Remember, it's lower sounding than yours, but it still does the same um, stuff as your recorder does. So make sure you have your recorder with you. We are going to be doing exercises one through four in your book today. And so this is for third, fourth, and fifth graders, okay? We're doing exercises one through four. If you don't know where your book is or you might have left it at school, don't worry. I will post a screenshot of the music on this assignment so you can still practice, okay? All right, so the four basic rules of recorder, just a quick review. Remember that we have to have your left hand on top, okay? Up, okay? And if you see me looking down a lot, it's because I'm looking at my script, okay? Um, number two, cover those holes completely and tightly, okay? Make sure you're not just gently covering them, but also not a death grip. Make sure it's gen um, enough so you can feel the holes underneath your fingers. Use soft, warm air and whisper two on each note, okay? So let's get started. Let's start with number one. Number one is all, numbers one through four are all low E. They're just practicing low E, okay? And the first thing I like to do, I like to practice speaking the rhythm. So the ta's and the tt's. that's the first thing I like to do. Sometimes if we have more than one note, I like to speak it first. Then I like to speak the letter names while I'm actually moving my fingers. And then I like to play it. But since we're only doing one note here, we're only gonna do two steps. So, so the first one is you're gonna cover the holes completely. Make sure your left hand is on top. Finger number zero, your thumb covering that back hole. Number one, two, three. Pinky hangs out, you can tuck him back away so he doesn't get in the way. Then your pointer finger on your right hand, finger number four, finger number five, and then the other ones can just curl away. Your other thumb should just be resting on the back of your instrument, okay? So let's speak the ta's, the tt's, and the ta in number one. Ready and speak it with me. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ta. Super important that you keep a steady beat, okay? Make sure those fingers are nice and planted. Let's get ready to play. Soft, warm air, whispering two on each and every note so we can hear the separate ta's, tt's in there too. On the half note, you're going to blow ta for one, two, two beats. Ready? And here we go. Nice job. All right, let's go on to number two. Take a quick look at that one. It starts on a T T instead of a ta. We have a lot of ta's in a row. We got one, two, three, four, five, six ta's in a row. And then it ends on a half note, which is a ta. So you're going to hold that up for two beats. Ta. Okay. All right, let's first speak it, get those fingers planted so they get used to um, where they're supposed to be on the recorder. Remember, we talked about muscle memory. Your muscles need to remember what they're doing, so plant them there, okay? All right, speak it with me, starting on TT. Number two. One, two, and ready, here we go. T, T, ta, 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 ta. All right, let's play it. Cover those holes completely, tightly, nice soft warm air. Separate those notes with your two, with your tongue. Ready, and a here we go. Awesome, okay, number three, still doing low E. We now have four beats in each measure, because if you look at the time signature where it says four, four at the beginning of number three, you will see that the top number is four. So it means now we have four beats in each, each measure. Before we only had three. So we actually start out with a 
whole note. So that means we are going to blow air through our instruments for four full beats. It'll sound like this. It's a long note, okay? So we got a whole note, then we got four quarter notes, then we got eighth notes, and then four quarter notes again. So we got ta's, we got ta, two, three, four, ta, ti, ti, ta, okay? Let's speak it, plant those fingers. Ready, and speak number three. Ta, two, three, four, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. All right, let's play it. Plant those fingers, soft form air, whispering two on each and every note. Ready, and here we go. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Okay, last one, number four. You will notice that it says syllables and then it has a whole bunch of blanks underneath of the rhythms. That's because I would like for you to fill those out on your own. So hopefully you can take a moment to do that or you can pause this video, take a moment to do it, and then check your work, okay? So what you should have written is ta, 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 that's for the first measure, and then ta, ta, for the two half notes, and then in the last measure, you have your whole note. Ta, two, three, four. All right, let's speak number four together. Plant those fingers, ready, and speak it, here we go. Ta, 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 two, three, four. All right, let's play it. Plant those fingers, low E, whispering two, soft warm air. Ready? And here we go. Nice job. Okay, so now I'm going to play the xylophone and you get to play on your own. I'm gonna help you out by speaking and singing the rhythms for you, but so you can have a little background music to do it, okay? So let's do number one again. Plant those fingers on low E, left hand on top. Ready, and here we go. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ta, ta. Now let's do number two, same thing. Plant those fingers. Ready, and a here we go. Ti, ti, ta, 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 ta. Nice job. Let's do number three together. Same exact thing. Ready, and a here we go. Ta, two, three, four, ta, 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 ta. Ti, ta, ta, ta. Nice job. All right, in our last one, number four. Get ready. Ready, and here we go. Ta, 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 two, three, four. Nice job. Awesome job. So if you would like to send in any pictures or videos of you practicing, I would absolutely love to see them. I can also give you feedback on them um, if I hear anything that might need a little bit of adjusting. If you want to see me in virtual person, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, I have office hours on Zoom. You can find that information on the, live, on the stream of Google Classroom. But I will have office hours from 12.30 until 1.30 p.m. So that's one hour each day, Monday through Friday. Friday that you can ask me questions, show me what you're doing. Um, but just be mindful that it might take me a minute to get to you just because I'll have other people in the classroom too. Or I might have other people in the classroom. Okay? So, awesome job today. Um, please feel free to practice this uh, multiple times if you feel like you're struggling. Um, send me in any questions that you have. I'll be happy to answer them.